Hello again from Blues Domino. Just wanted to let you know that I have a new set of strings on the old 13 Stratocaster. This is, of course, my uh, FSR Rustic Ash in the faded white finish. Love this guitar. Great tones. Um, tonight I'll be playing through the Fender Blues Junior 3, and I also have it going in stereo for my little Boss Loop Station RC3 is going right into my Hot Rod Deluxe 3. So I uh, just wanted to let you see how the Elixir Polyweb strings sound. I've got the guitar tuned down a half a step. I've uh, been playing this for about 20-30 minutes just getting the strings adjusted. Uh, you know, of course, always seems to be that uh, if you change gauges in your strings, your tension is different. You have to do some adjustment to the claw to make sure that everything is uh, set right with your trim floating and, and the like. Uh, things that I'm noticing about these elixir strings right away, uh, I don't know if it's just the the way they're marketed or what. Um, it's easy to breeze over the strings, but in the little bit of 20 minutes that I've been playing with a pick, I can notice that all of the coating is just coming right off of the strings and kind of coating the guitar. I don't know that you'll be able to pick that up uh, from the video, no matter how far I zoom this in. Uh, but it is, it is definitely gone on the wound strings at the pick level. Uh, as far as tone is concerned, tone sounds great. I, I did have, before I had the Elixir Polywebs, these are their light gauge. This is the 10 through 46 gauge. Uh, it's the polyweb. Of course, this is also the one that has the anti-rust plain steel strings. So uh, the idea is that they're coated, so they're easier to play, they're easier and gentler on your fingers, but then the idea too is the fact that they're going to be a longer lasting, longer life string so that you maintain your tone because you have this coating on the strings that's going to help prevent the acids and oils in your skin uh, and the dirt and the grime and the sweat from deteriorating the strings, you know, making them go dead, losing your vibration. Uh, you know, I'm just a hobbyist. I'm not a gigging musician by any means. Uh, I'll play probably an hour or so every day just for pleasure more than anything. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of like putting these little video presentations together just to uh, get it in my own mind what string that I like best. And I hope that you find that these uh, are, you know, entertaining to some point. The strings that I had on before were the Didaros. They were the warm and mellow flat round, um, or flat wound, I should say. They were the extra light gauge, which was actually heavier than what's on the, the guitar now. And uh, that was one that had the wound third string or G string. I didn't care for that so I switched that out to a plain steel and drop tuned it a half step and absolutely loved it. Of course I think a lot of it is tone going through this uh, Blues Junior amp is just so sweet. I really really like it. But enough babbling here let's just go ahead and listen to a few chords and maybe I'll noodle around a little bit and we'll uh, come back and close this out a little bit. So hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
so we've got some great clarity, some good sustain, nice, fresh, warm, open tone, a little bit brighter, I think, than the uh, previous strings that we'd had. Um, definitely worth a try. Verdict, again, is still out on it. Uh, we'll see how the tone stays, see if the string sticks around. I just know right now after playing for about a half an hour, uh, you know, I've got the coatiness shredding right off of the wound strings. Um, you know, we'll see what happens when they come to talking about a string that claimed on the box lasts uh, three to five times longer. But, uh, you know, so far, not so bad. The verdict is still out on whether or not this is going to be the string, but again, it's all uh, it's all good either way, as long as we can enjoy some good picking. So, hope you guys uh, have a great one, and we'll catch you around another time. I'll play these strings for a while, and we'll see how they last, and I'll go ahead and post a follow-up video. So, more to come in the future. Till then, have a great one.